What's up guys, Daniel here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build, it's already done now, but I thought I'd do an intro. This little portable enclosure. You got Whitey there in his big pit that I built for him. But I got this new addition without being able to build a proper pit for him, or her, sorry. Hopefully it's a her, we don't know, too small. So, had to think, had to brainstorm, had to see what I had on hand, had a found two guinea pig hutches so i used the top of one had some spare chicken wire had a, whole, a crap ton of cable ties and i had some foam as you can see the phone wheel over there so i'm gonna show you guys how to build this now again it's not the permanent as you can see the new addition at the back the heart minimalistic blue tongue skink he's loving it already so i'm gonna show you guys how to build it again it's not like a proper enclosure that's going to stay for the rest of his life it's just so he can get a bit bigger and it's protecting him just in case this guy tries to try anything and also it's protecting him from getting inside it took me about two three hours just because i have to cut out all the chicken wire but you'll see that later on in this video it's a pretty good setup pretty safe pretty sturdy it's also portable really light all you need to do is just lift it up and you can move it wherever you want and it's really cheap. You can literally just find a guinea pig thing. I found two of them on the side of the road. Chicken wire is literally about eight bucks, 12 bucks. The foam cost me 30 bucks, but you get about 30 meters of it. I only used about three, four meters here. So it's a really cheap, easy way to get your lizard outside. And if you don't have rubber, which I do underneath here, so he can't get out underneath the substrate, you just need to get a couple layers of weed mat, or you can just get some fake grass and make sure he doesn't get out. So this is the cheap side of building enclosure because these big setups cost me three, four hundred dollars each. So if you're looking for a cheap, small setup, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. So this is the idea. Obviously it doesn't look the best, it's just a temporary one. And it's only for if you've got nothing on you. I just got cable ties and what's his name? Chicken wire. So it prevents him. So it's gonna go across the entire thing and I'm also gonna put foam on the inside so the little guy doesn't bump his nose or anything. Yeah, that's practically the idea. <laughs> Doesn't look the best. Still looks pretty clean. I did a pretty clean job. Yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, I did all the sides. As you can see, all done side by side. The roof's not done. I've actually done a protective foam barrier around the sides. So, because this is going in with, in this pit until I can get another pit built. So the foam on the outside, just so the one who's living in here doesn't actually hurt himself on the metal. And I'm also doing foam across the top, just so the lizard can't climb over and somehow fit through these. So that's all that, and also it gets rid of the sharp edges of the ends of the chicken wire. So let's see what it looks when it's finished. If you're worried about like when we're cutting the chicken wire all the off cuts or like the spiky bits in the floor if you got one of these one of these magnetic the snam bowls we use them for screws they just go over them you can probably hear them that's not it hitting the floor it's actually it picking up all the off cuts you just ray it over and it picks them all up one by one pretty sure i cut a fair few over here And yeah, as you can see, picks up all the offcuts just like that. Yeah. And that's the final product. Doesn't look the best because it cost me literally zero dollars. Found the, the top of a guinea pig hutch. Had the spare foam from the last pit and had the spare chicken wire from the last pit. So I need to just put some stuff in it, which I've got there. And it's going to go into this pit. So I have two setups in one. Yeah. If you guys want to know how to build these big pits, the, I've got two videos on my channel. I'll see if I can find the video for this one because it's been two, three years. This one I'll put in the description if you want to watch it. And yeah, got my new addition over there, ready to go into the new tank once I fully set it up. So the tank's all open now. We've got me lizard out here, how being a blue tongue. Still don't have a name for him yet. Comment down below a name. Now I'm gonna put this 
all the way into here and try and mix it all around. So that's gonna be fun. All right, so it's in, there's the setup. It, the new addition isn't in there yet. I'm gonna fill up that water dish, gotta fill up that water dish because I have to mess all the substrate around. The Albino's back in there. He doesn't really come out that much anymore because it's going into winter slowly. So if you look in there, you can probably just see him. I don't know if you can see him, but yeah. Now I'll show you guys my new addition. If you guys didn't see the new addition video, I have to put the camera down for a sec. This is my new addition. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Alrighty, now I'm just going to feed him. He's going on in there, as you can see. It's going to give him some dog food, two blueberries. I haven't seen him eat blueberries yet. This is his first feeding, so I'm only giving him a little bit. It's more than I'll put more on. It's just um, the first dog food. There's two types. You've got the beef, and then you've got the chicken. You've got chicken for protein, beef for iron, etc. etc. I've always done well with dog food. So I'll put that here, out in the middle, so you can see it when he comes out of that hide. Oh, whoopsie. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it's not the best looking, but it keeps the two lizards apart. The one lizard can't get in, one lizard can't get out. If you're wondering why I didn't cover the top with mesh, because the black bluey can't exactly get over the foam, and the big albino can't exactly fit through here, so it doesn't really make an issue. Also, I got these clips that came with the guinea pig thing that I found. That's when I cut these because they went under and they were getting in the way of the foam. What I need to do is just clip it to one of the bars and it just clips over to another bar like that and it keeps it shut. I you hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more updates on the lizards, because now I've got two blueies in there, I've got a bluey shingle back and a bearded dragon in here. Also, got the two snakes inside and the turtle. I've also got a guinea pig too, if you guys didn't know. Well, it's my sister's guinea pig. I'll give you a little geese at him if you want to have a look. If he's in here. He's probably under this. But yes, this is this. If you want to set up video on the guinea pig, even though it's not reptile related, just let me know. We used to keep guinea pigs, like, we used to have like 50 when we were younger before I had reptiles. There he is. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thought of the video by commenting down below. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll talk to you all later.